Hello and welcome back to another exciting, well actually, I uh, changed the name of my Let's Play episode to um, Minecraft Steam Log. No, this will be my second entry guys and um, I just wanted to say that uh, I came up from my mine and uh, I was putting stuff away and then I was thinking about moving stuff down and then uh, I had a change of heart, so I went downstairs and cleared a couple. Uh, cleared a level at the moment. I'm gonna clear a couple more to make it a j bigger room. But yeah, I came up here to you know to where my bed is, and uh, this yeah, the door is missing, and I was like, that's weird. I I remember putting a door there, and then I realised. Oh yeah, the zombies break down doors in hard mode. Ooh. <laughs> so, yeah, I I also got uh, slain by a spider before. It's kind of embarrassing, but I don't have a good sword, so, yeah. And then, um, so, it, there's not much uh, change at the moment, except uh, I didn't show you guys this in my first Steam log, but over there, um, the swamp is normally filled with uh, loads of trees and uh, I've just basically cleared them out and uh, so yeah I there was a couple of um, I think it was red hey little guy what's up oh there's the medium ones okay that's that's okay um, yeah, so since my island, well, little peninsula thing is surrounded by a little lake, it's I see a lot of slimes just in there. I uh, I actually went across and there was like a little uh, whole patch of slime balls once. So yeah, that was kind of crazy. I was like, what, what what's going on? And then I realized. So yeah, but um, over here I met. If I remember correctly, I planted some red mushrooms because um, they were in the shade of the tree and I don't think they've grown much. If you can see, I've planted one mushroom and uh, they haven't really grown. I suspect it's because um, this, I don't really come out here and I can barely see my... Um, my tree farm over there so I suspect this chunk is always unloaded so therefore these mushrooms won't really grow so I'm gonna take these red mushrooms and I'm gonna um, I'm gonna plant a tree over there and I will uh, sort of grow the red mushrooms under that tree over there where I will always be working so you know so I, it's always in a chunk that it's loaded the other thing I wanted to see was um, if I press F3 now and uh, as I'm walking in the middle left hand corner there used to be a seed number that you can put into like the slime farms and stuff but since going to 1.4 I think they removed that and I ooh, see you see what I mean there's just slimes literally everywhere so and uh, they, the little ones just drown, but the big ones, uh, the little ones drown in one block of water, but the big ones have to drop at least into that pool. So that's kind of a reason why I want to make this either an island or a peninsula. So, you know, to have um, slime protection, I guess. So, yeah. Um, but the problem is over here. Uh, my sla my tree farm is always lit. It's the brightest thing around um, when when I'm at, when it's at night. There is just these torches light up quite a bit of area. So I may just plant the tree over here, and I will make it a bigger tree, I guess. Actually, you know what? I should. Whoa, trees going left and right here. Um, I'm just going to make a temporary thing out of cobblestone. Do you know what? I'll make it out of dirt. 
and uh, I'm just gonna the problem is I want uh, see oops one two three four five there we go we'll make a little pla uh, five by five platform in the air two, four. Two, three, four, and uh, so this platform will cover will cover a five by five area on the ground that will not be exposed to direct sunlight. So this area should be dark enough for mushrooms, in theory. So it should be this block. There we go. So that mushroom will always be in a chunk that will load because I'm always working in this chunk but the problem is mobs will spawn under this platform and unless I find some mycelium I think this will always be the case so I think um, once I wrap things up I may make a boat grab some food and just head into the ocean because I've Honestly, hand on my heart, I've never ever found a mycelium biome before, well not a mycelium biome, a mushroom biome before. And I don't actually have silk touch yet, I want to find one and write down the coordinates earlier on in game so that I'll be able to access it later on. So you know, that will be, um, that will be our goal, like a short term goal, except I don't think this is an ocean biome. I think this just is a river biome. Let me just jump in here and uh, oh yes, uh, the little corridor thing I ripped out and uh, replaced it, and I'll show you guys underneath. So I'm just gonna double check. So this is a the, yeah, this is a river biome. So I need to actually get out to a ocean biome. Yeah. Oops. What was that? So I'm gonna see now. Oh, I'll show you guys um, what I was basically ripping out on the ground. So I'm going to come down here. And uh, this is basically the first layer under the island. I was gonna, I'm going to dig down along the sides and rip out another layer. I think it's four blocks underneath. And that will become my main room, I do think. I quite like this little uh, green border I have going along, along the edges. It's... Um, tears up, I guess it tears the wall away from the ceiling so yeah yeah I'm gonna I think I'm gonna keep that look although this won't be my permanent base it'll be a temporary one so you know obviously it's not very symmetrical it's a uh, huge like indents in the wall and, uh, yeah so um, that's basically the little update guys so Next time I see you, I'll grab a boat and we'll go look for a mushroom biome. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to grow these in any light. And uh, I'll have like a, I'll basically be able to have a patch of 5x5 five five on the ground. And then uh, we'll be able to get mushrooms off it. I'll see you guys in a second for something a bit more exciting. Oh, uh, I'm back. And um, I basically dug a bit more out from the levels underneath and then I got... Well, let's just put it bluntly. I got very bored. So, I'm gonna... Uh, just. I've got my trusty boat. I've got some torches. I've got a spare sword. And I've got some stakes. And I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna set off in that direction. And I'm just gonna keep going until I hit an ocean biome. But first, I must write down the coordinates. So I'm going to see you guys off here and I'm just going to write down the coordinates somewhere, maybe stick it on my forehead, you know, uh, so I don't forget it. And then I'm, go I'm just going to set off and then hopefully I will be able to hit a mushroom biome soon. So I'll see you guys in a second, maybe on top of a mushroom biome. Yeah. Update on my on my adventure to the um, mushroom biome didn't quite work out as planned obviously because I'm back here and uh, I learned a couple of things firstly bring more than one boat I went through seven 
and I didn't have any wood and I hit a squid in the middle of an ocean biome wasn't fun really wasn't fun anyway uh, and I got some sapling, oak saplings obviously I got and I got some spruce saplings whilst I was travelling back here I did not find a single mushroom biome on that um, I think I went 4000 blocks maybe in one direction I think I remember my Z at the highest was about 6000 and my X, no no, it was minus 6000 and my Z went up to positive, I think it was 500. So I didn't travel in one direction, I traveled around, but that's the figures that stood out to me. And uh, I didn't spot one, so I think I'll have to go through systematically to find one. So uh, yeah, uh, that's um, delayed for another uh, later date. But uh, I got some ink sacks and some mushrooms, and um, I came back to this. Hmm, I guess it hasn't really grown, so I'll have to look into it. But, um, yeah, I, I was hoping to get some mycelium for the mushroom farm, but guess not. I'll, uh, I'll go out at a later date. Ooh, these glitchy chests. At a late... Really? Another big tree? Uh, I'll go out at a later date to get some mycelium. But, uh, I'm thinking about just moving into this, uh room underneath because um well actually I haven't finished it so I need to finish it and then move in so that's kind of the plan now and uh, this little staircase thingy I might keep I've actually ripped out the entrance so I may keep this bit just to access some lower levels but I may just rip it out I mean I've got um I've got a ladder here anyway so sorry got burps anyway that's just a bit of an update uh, my adventure didn't go too well and um, also I didn't well things I learned this adventure didn't think boats broke on uh, squid I thought they just kind of bounced off them but I guess I was going either too fast or it was never implemented so yeah but I'm actually thinking of because uh, I'm much I've run down my maybe my first stack of steak so I think I'm going to add another um, wheat floating platform I'm gonna call this so I'm gonna add another f wheat floater yeah there we go wheat floater and uh, we'll get some more wheat that way and then uh, it won't look too bad as well so uh, got another wheat floater and then we'll get some bread going and obviously I'm hoping on uh, getting some farms running so we get some preliminary uh, resources but wow exactly 64 did not count that hmm that wasn't actually planned so kinda weird I really need to install Optifine again cause uh... That, I, I'm used to seeing like crystal clear water so I can see around but this is so weird it's like all oh, murky the weird thing is, I think they implemented 3D items, except I've not, like, that seed there, it wasn't really 3D. Sorry, I've got really bad burps. Let's see this. No. It doesn't seem to turn, unless it turns with you. Hmm. Maybe. But I know they do it with a sword, so. No, I don't think they implemented that. Anyway. Uh, I'll see you guys in a minute with something a bit more interesting, I think. And uh, I, I did actually clear a bit more of the sand island. Realized that the tunnels wasn't riddled all underneath. It was just that area on the left hand side was um, a bit more closer to the surface. You know where like a tunnel arches to the surface. So I actually did that action with my hand and I'm like, why didn't I just do it with my mouth? Anyway, so yeah. I've also had this problem of uh, zombies uh, or spiders taking refuge in my tree farm. I'm like, what the? Yeah, so that's keep going to keep happening. I'm going to have to light up this place probably. I'm just worried that... Oh. Oh. Is, it, is this actually affecting it? Let's see. Uh, where's the light level? I have no idea how to read this. 
Hmm. Okay. Well, I have no idea how to how to read this, and uh, I was taught by I think a friend how to read. Oh God. Oh, it's a zombie villager. That's weird. Anyway, well, let's move on to something a bit more, a bit more uh, stimulating to the mind. See you guys in a second. And we're back. Well, I'm back anyway. And uh, in my inventory, I have potatoes and carrots. And I've also got a lot of boats. Um, I've got a little tale to tell you guys. Oh, of course, I um, I upgraded uh, some of my farms. Um, I decided to do with, go with a 4x4 theme. Is I remember in my first, well, my sand world, I went to a 5x5. Five five. I did my uh, rep. Uh, repetitive unit house I think and it was a 5x5 five five. and so I'm gonna go over 4x4 four four first and then I may change it so there's four this is all weeds and that's the 4x4 four four, uh, tree farm I moved from over here because uh, it was attracting far too much attention and this um, this dirt block over here is not my house don't get me wrong um, it's actually a, mush a temporary mushroom farm and it's quite dangerous because uh, I, there should be mushrooms here but I've only just come back um, so the chunk is only just loaded I've also died numerous times and the reason because of that is that uh, I went off to set off to look for potatoes because the saturation rate is the best so I took a boat and just went all right, I'm gonna go. I remember there was a desert over there, so I look in there for a village, and I just went, and uh, I found one. I found one, and I keep remembering it's that way. So I died in the village, and I went, all right, I'm gonna have to go back and get my stuff, but the chunk won't be loaded because it's too far away. And I set off again, and I got another couple of boats. That's why I've got so many boats. I've broken like three already as well. So I set off, and then uh, I. I run around. I'm like, where is this place? I, mean, I remember seeing this, and I remember seeing this. I remember seeing the cheaty sand. And I'm like, okay, so I remember all these hotspots, and then I've only just gone back and recovered my stuff, uh, and I realised something. It's off in this direction. So somehow, I have gone all that way, and I've taken a boat all the way round to somewhere over there. It's about good 300 blocks away that way so somehow I must have traveled so far out of my way to get there but I've blocked all the villages in so the zombies can't get at them and I've just raided the um, farms so I think I either may transport them back here or and then uh, have them live in a village that I make here or it will just be a village that I sort of enclose in, like maybe make a sphere over it or um, or put like a fence around it and so far. But I may go with the former idea because I'm going to be based around here. Hmm. And once I get my um, once I get my uh, mob farm going, I think I'll be a terraforming a lot here. So I may cut this. I may eliminate this island completely and maybe have the um, villagers live in like uh, a area in the sky so yeah that's all to come but I mean that's uh, I haven't written down anything uh, positive yet uh, so yeah that's basically an update I mean over here I've just done a very very simple staircase up to here and this is all half slab so no mobs will spawn here and you can't walk round under here so nothing will spawn under here if there are trees grown and well it's half time anyway so nothing will and then the uh, for the carrots and potatoes I want to do something like that but and these are these are great numeric wise no, um, these each plot there are four plots here each plot is 64 and I will be changing the part um, you see these uh, cobblestone bits linking them I will be changing these 
and that's a definite because I've currently got torches on them to light them from having mobs spawn on them. I was gonna do half slabs, that was a great idea, and I haven't um, checked, put it in. Actually, I'm gonna grab a couple of half slabs because um, I quite like the idea of having half slabs because it looks like it's sort of half sunk into the water, but at the same time, it's not. So, I mean, it's a great idea. Let's see, where's the stone brick half slab? There we go. Stone brick half slabs. So I'm gonna go mine out one of these and I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna put the half slab in. I think it's a great idea, so Okay, stand here, mine out this, mine out this, and uh put one here and one here. So basically you just swim up to it and you get on and then you just walk onto the plot. And this is basically to uh this is a landing area so you can land onto this area without trampling your farmland and it's a yeah this sort of looks great but this um this block is a bit weird so i don't i i for some reason i don't really like stone brick i'm more of a sandstone person or maybe a snow person i mean a never brick um never brick doesn't doesn't look half bad but anyway i'll be changing that up and i'll be growing them on the side until they can achieve something at uh, one plot, at least one plot. And then I'll be joining the one plot out there and maybe over here and I'll terraform a bit over there to get rid of some of the land. So it'll be, um, maybe. I've got, uh, uh, this is all kind of like temporary. So, uh, I mean, I quite like the shape of this one. I might just keep looking around because uh, I'm, basically sick of creepers sneaking up on me and then um, I might just like lift this into the sky um, because of that same reason I mean I've lit that whole area up no mobs are gonna spawn on there so yeah uh, I'm gonna wait until this goes to a stack I mean the potato is my my most important food so like the wheat won't be as important I'll be making cake I'll be making bread I'll be getting animals so that might stay as four or I might um, expand it to a two by three plot oh uh, well two by three plots and um, the carrot one might take two plots and the potatoes will might take up to eight plots because the potato is that important to me so well food wise anyway I mean I'm not exactly going to starve anymore so Hmm. I might, I might rethink it. Anyway, I'm just gonna. Well, actually, yeah, I might sign off for today. So, this is uh, Steam Log number two, guys. You've, uh, you've, you've seen it. You enjoyed it. Leave me a comment. See you guys later. Bye for now. Hmm. I wonder if I should raise it now. Oh well. Bye for now, guys.